Hello and welcome to basic electrical circuits. As the title says, this course is about circuits. So, the first thing we will do is to learn what circuits are all about. Okay. I have just put down that electrical circuits are interconnections of electrical components. Now, of course, that does not uh, explain too much, we will uh, get into more details of that, but uh, what happens in electrical circuits is that uh, there are currents and voltages okay, which are basically uh, some other representations of uh, charges and fields. Okay. So, what happens in electrical circuits is that charges move in uh, certain ways and they move in interesting ways that carry out certain useful functions. Okay. So, unlike a mechanical gadget in an electrical circuit you do not see any moving parts. Okay. All the action happens inside the wires and inside the components in the forms of uh, charges moving and uh, fields uh, taking on some values somewhere and so on. Okay. So, they are necessarily more abstract than uh, mechanical gadgets. So, For that reason, we have to learn to deal with abstract quantities uh, such as uh, charge and uh, field and voltage and current and so on. By abstract, I do not mean that uh, they are unreal. What I mean is you cannot see or perceive them directly. Okay? Whereas, in a mechanical gadget, you can see the object moving. Okay? Now, all of you will know some basics of uh, electromagnetics. You know that uh, basically the electromagnetic fields are governed by Maxwell's equations. The four equations given to us by Maxwell describe the interrelationships between uh, uh, electric field, magnetic field and charge distributions. Okay. Now, you also probably have the experience that uh, doing any calculations with charges and fields is immensely complicated. Okay. Now, we certainly cannot afford to do that for a very complex circuit. Okay. So, it turns out that we will not directly deal with uh, charges and fields, but uh, some other equivalent representations, uh, which effectively mean uh, charges and fields, but uh, we will not directly deal with charges and fields, but we will deal with uh, currents and voltages, alternative representations of charges and fields. Okay. So, what happens in an electrical circuit is that charges move in response to fields which could be either an electric field or a magnetic field, but like I said we will not directly calculate charges or fields. Okay. Now, what we will do is deal with currents and voltages, okay, which effectively represent charges and electric fields in some way. Okay. This could also be related to the magnetic field as well. Okay. So, we will deal with uh, currents and voltages. Okay. Now, Usually, what happens is you are given a charge distribution, basically the spatial uh, distribution of charge and from that you have to uh, calculate the fields elsewhere uh, and this usually involves a lot of complicated algebra. Okay. Now, it turns out that under certain circumstances, 
you can ignore the spatial distribution of anything that is as we will uh, go uh, further we will see that we will not worry about uh, a spatial extent of any component. Okay, we will deal with only the terminal characteristics.